Hi everyone, Fredo here and welcome back to Project Edging. 5 days ago, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond was officially released and a lot of you are asking about this game. So, I decided to do a guide on how to play Pokemon Brilliant on your Android phone. It will be a quick step-by-step -step video and will be using the Agon Simulator on this project. On top of that, I'll be sharing to you how to extract your games without a PC, where and how to install AGNS, and a short game test. So without further ado, let's get this video going. Okay, so let's start with the phone that I'm using. I'm holding the Poco F3 that has a Snapdragon 870 with an 8GB of RAM. A mid-range phone that can run most of the games from Switch, but according to their updated website, the recommended specs is above 855. Anyway, the first step is to make sure you install the Z Archiver to extract the compressed files to your phone, and use a file manager to easily copy and transfer to your desired folder. But for me, I'll just create a game folder outside the main root. After we're done with that, you have to download the EPK file as well as the switch folder from the AGNS website. Once you download everything, you have to install the AGNS and copy over the switch folder. This will overwrite the existing folder that was pre-installed. Make sure not to miss this step or else you won't be able to play any games. The last step is to plug in your phone to the GameSir X2, which is the only compatible gamepad for this emulator as of now. After which you have to register your new account since this emulator is online. Next is to set the best settings according to game you're playing. So if the game doesn't boot or is in a black screen, try to follow the best settings. There are tons of available resources online that you can just copy. Also take note that you have to set your data directory and game directory. Once everything is all set, you can just sit back and play Pokemon Brilliant. So here's the first 3 minutes of my game test. Hope you enjoy.
So after playing for 2 hours, I did get some crashes here and there. I would recommend installing a fan cooler or staying at a room temperature. At the same time, I've noticed a high temperature increase on the screen, which really affects the game FPS. As it gets hotter, the FPS will surely dip, or worse, crash. Alright everyone, that's it for this video. I really enjoy playing Pokemon Brilliant on my phone, although the game is still crashing in the long run. Maybe on a higher spec phone, it will be more optimized, but nevertheless, the experience was great and easy to install. However, if you ask me, I would still recommend just buying a Switch Lite if you plan to play online and smoother gameplay. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this something you're buying for just to test new games or just play the game? I'm really interested to hear your thoughts. Please like and subscribe if you found it helpful. As always, thanks for watching and have a good game everyone. And see you next week. Peace.